Hello and welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I have a very exciting collab to share with you guys. It's with two of my favorite youtubers ever that are some of my best friends on this platform lisa lobotomy and annette's makeup corner if you watch my channel you know you've definitely seen me mention them i know i mentioned annette probably in at least every second video i film we just i don't know we go back a long way in our youtube in our youtube friendship and lisa definitely comes into that as well they're just both amazing creators and i definitely recommend checking them out we are doing a Fantasy League Challenge collab video. And what it is, is using the Kaleidos collection. We each selected shades. So like Lisa selected one shade, then I selected a shade, then Annette did, and then we repeated that until we got six shades. Uh, we all love this collection and I'm so excited to see what looks we all end up creating with these palettes. And here is like the colors we selected. And here are the colours we selected on Annette's arm. She's amazing at swatches. <laughs> Just love them. So I'm going to go in with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre in my eyes to start off with. Uh, so Lisa Lobotomy, she does some really cool stuff on her channel. She's got the Zodiac series going on at the moment. She's on a low buy, but she's still sort of creating some... She's still creating some good content. I just find sometimes when people are on low buys, like it's like their creativity dries up. Or you... I don't know. I'm definitely someone who likes to have lots of new products coming in all the time to play with which isn't very helpful for my wallet and she recently did the bad and the boring tag she had made that tag like ages ago and then i did it and then a lot of other people picked it up and it's a really fantastic tag if you haven't done it yet i really recommend doing it and it's been so great to see her i don't know to see her name out there amongst all these youtubers that i love watching and that she loves watching and it's just really cool and i can't wait to see what we all create with these looks all right i'm gonna go in and try and just be like a little bit different than what i normally would do and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start off going in with the black in the the sci-fi green palette i don't know who chose the black but i'm kind of annoyed at you now so we actually chose all of these shades a long time ago and have just been waiting for it all to line up with our schedules to upload this club i should bring you in so Annette, she is one of my dearest friends. Um, I just absolutely love her and adore her. She definitely is a reason why my channel is still around. Because I just, I don't know, I would have lost momentum a while ago. But she is so supportive and sweet. And I love watching her channel. I am, it's crazy to think I can remember when she was back at like a thousand subscribers and she's made it up to 12,000 now. Um, if you go back, we've done collab. Oh, well, I've done collabs with both of these lovely ladies before. Uh, me and Annette actually made the behind the scenes of YouTube tag bef together. And me and Lisa, I believe we did a palette bingo. Yes, we did the palette bingo with the Manaza palette. And our collab. So it's fun to bring these two together. I've definitely known them. I think pretty much the, like the length of my channel has been going for. Uh, which so I've been doing YouTube for about like a year now. No, I'm sorry. I know I didn't do like a one year update video, and my palette collection video is in the works. It's mostly just the amount of time it's going to take me to go through them. I recently counted them and I was at 91 palettes, which is a lot. So I'm just going to clean off this on my color switch. I'm going to go back in with that green that's next to this one. I'm gonna blend this in. I can't wait to see what both of the girls create because we have such different styles. And it's fun to see what people sort of do with this like face off bingo face off thing. And I know Danielle Schmidt, she is the creator of the face off concept, which I get, which is what this sort of originates from. And she is finally back on YouTube, which is very exciting to see. So welcome back, Danielle. I'll have her link down below. Uh, so the green as well. I'm just going to pack that on the outer corner of my lids here. I just didn't want to put bring the black down. I feel like that was going to be a predictable move for me. And I wanted to mix it up. And I can't, I love, I love the way these are just blended into each other. Oh. The Clytus collection is definitely like one of my favorite collections that have come out this year. All right, I just need to get back with that back a little bit. 
I just want to make sure we're still keeping it in the look. And then going in with the purple from Astro Pink. Same brush. I think I cleared it off already. I'm going to blend this into here. So thank you so much if you are stopping over from any of the other ladies' channels. I absolutely love them both so dearly. They're such great friends of mine. And it's so nice. That's been the most special thing about YouTube is meeting people like Lisa and Annette on here that I just would have never met in real life. Uh, and creating such a lovely bond of like getting to know them from their videos and talking to them on Instagram. They both mean a lot to me. That would mean a lot to me if you want to check them out or if you're there from their channels. What I think I'm going to try and do is bring this purple down a little bit and keep that sort of crisscross pattern but it's not going to go on my lid because we have the shimmers. Lately I'm finding myself to just really like fall in love with one brush and I don't want to change the brush for the whole look. This is my Morphe E18. I actually bought this brush because of Annette. I don't know if you've seen her small like her brush recommendation video it is fantastic and I highly recommend it uh, she does have another video about the reefer brushes and I did because of her end up going on the kit starter kickstarter I can't even say that word the kickstarter for the reefer brushes so they should I should get them in December I'm looking forward to trying them out I've seen a lot of people a lot of creators who really love the reefer brushes and I'm excited to give them a try but I must be patient now I don't know, this is going to be dirty? No. I was worried that the black had mixed into this one. But it actually is just that shade. I already made this commitment, so it's just going to happen now. I think what I will do is put the silver on the top. Just to bring it in. And look, it's gone a bit. I don't know. Yeah. The shimmer's going to have to save this one. Well, let's bring this mustardy, this mustardy shade on the outer here. So we have the silver and like the blue shimmer. So I'm going to put the silver and that's the shade from Cyber Bronze. I'm not surprised that that is both, I think all of us, the silver is our favourite shade from the Cyber Bronze. And I think, I doubt either of us, any of us, would have picked up Cyber Bronze if it didn't come in the pack because it's none of our vibes. Well, yeah. I think as a person we only ever really need like one neutral palette and that's about it. But colours, oh you can buy them for days. Something has like just happened on this side. I'm betting you can probably see the mistake better than I can. Let's grab back that green and what I'm going to do is use this sort of brush and step in. What's the shape I want a bit more? Because this, yeah, this side I've gone like super neat and this side's just gone a mess. Very funny. Alright, I think it's a little bit better, but it's like not, still not what I'm aiming for. I don't know. I'm going to give up. I think it's part of like, part of my eye here doesn't like grabbing on to shadow. I think it's more in my eye problem than anything. And then I've just got one more shade to put on. I'm wondering, I feel like Annette's going to not put this on her lid and she's going to like wow us with something very cool. And curious about what Lisa would do. She, I feel like she might do like a two-toned look. Like silver and the this one on one. I don't know. I'm super curious. I just, I can't wait to see everyone's looks. I hope you go check everyone's out. I hope you enjoy everyone's looks. Um, and let me know if you have the Clylus collection, what you think of it. And seriously, this is like the funnest way I think to do the face of collab in letting people choose their sort of favourite shades to use. Alright, I'm just going to grab a bit more of that black and just go over the top here because we sort of got rid of it in that. And I just want to use it to bring these two together like so. Mm -hmm. Much or pretty. Alright, I'm going to go and do my mascara and liner and I shall return. Alright, I'm back. I had, a, I had a small accident and I stabbed myself in the eye. So I had to fix this side up and I put one blush on because I felt like I didn't have enough. So we've got the Benefit Bad Girl Bang, the NYX Epic Liner and Colourpop Kicker on the waterline. And yes, 
and that made me buy it. So let's show you what I created. I can't wait to see what the other girls have created. I did triangle a bit different. I don't know if this is like a little bit too out the box. I don't know. I, I like this checkered idea of like the crisscross. And I'm curious to play with that a little bit more. So let me know what you think of the look. Let me do that. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much to Annette and Lisa for doing this club with me. You guys absolutely mean the world to me. You're amazing friends. And I'm so grateful to have you in my life and part of my YouTube family. I don't know. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they've created and um, to share it all with you guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the look. I'm sorry. A wall. Like, zoomed out. I'm like, this looks... I don't know. I kind of like it. Like, let me know. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the other guys created because I'm super curious. Uh, what we did with the same colours, and that's one of the great things about this collab, is, is you this uh, face-off concept is that you get to see what different people do with the same colours, and it's just super fun. Anyway, Annette and Lisa absolutely mean the world to me, and I'm so grateful that we're doing this collab today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to go check their channels out. If you're new here, um, I'd absolutely love it if you'd consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. And thank you so much to everyone who is already subscribed, who is going to now check out Annette and Lisa, if you haven't already. But, I mean, come on. You already have. <laughs> anyway, enjoy today's a lot of videos. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to be enjoying. Thank you.